Earthquake is an unpredictable natural phenomenon with tragic consequences for people, caused most of the time by buildings collapse. Ground vibration due to the seismic waves make buildings shatter up to collapse. Traditional stone masonry houses are not designed to withstand vibration even in case of low intensity earthquakes. Nepal is just located on the border of two tectonic plates where the Indian plates go slowly but continuously under the Eurasian plate by subduction. On April 15, Nepal was hit by a major earthquake and its immediate aftershocks in the following days and months, including the ones on May. It has been the strongest earthquake for 80 years and it has caused more than 8,000 dead people, 22,000 injured people and 500,000 fully collapsed houses. If an earthquake cannot be predicted, seismic risk can be prevented, which is why while rebuilding, one should aim at being sustainable from the outset by improving traditional masonry house building efficiency and consequently aim at better protecting people. Reinforcing traditional stone masonry houses is based on precise assembly, on a layout of transverse stone, on adding horizontal seismic bands, and on changing wood frames. The rest of the traditional houses remains similar. While rebuilding, one should take into account financial resources, traditional materials and techniques used for construction. And finally, one should aim at training work supervisors, workers, today students and of course future generations. The work realized at Bazar Rapsha by Kappa French Association is a great rebuilding example. Last year, some reinforced houses were designed and built with an educational approach for workers to let them be autonomous. This feedback shows that this approach is effective but requires more explanations about the behavior of this type of reinforcement. That's why the following educational video, prepared by the Civil Engineering Sustainable Construction Department of La Rochelle Technological Institute, presents seismic tests on reduced scale stone masonry houses. The Civil Engineering Sustainable Construction of Technological University Institute of La Rochelle, in partnership with Reborn and Kappa Association, present an experimental study on reduced scale houses fixed on vibrating table simulating an earthquake effect. The objective is to show the efficiency of earthquake resistant system added on a traditional stones or bricks masonry houses. The traditional stone masonry house used in this study is a rectangular shape with 314 inches length, 197 inches width and 168 inches height. Four continuous seismic bands are added to reinforce the stone masonry structure from the ground to the roof. The joineries are located away from the corners and placed as far apart as possible. Flooring is composed of one wood post, one main bin, and eight or more joists. Finally, the roof consists of five wood frame carpentry anchored to the last seismic bed on a corrugated iron roof. To explain the efficiency of earthquake resistance systems, film tests on a radio scale house were realized with a vibrating table. Little houses are faithful reproductions of the traditional house with a structural simplification in order to test it. Wood frame carpentry on iron roof are not added on a reduced scale houses to focus test only on the structural behavior of the masonry and to make the difference when it's collapse with or without reinforcement. To build a radio scale house, we need one plastic support tray 375 clay bricks, two doors, one window, four seismic bands, 90 wood timbered and a mud mortar, which is composed with grey clay, sand and water.
For radio scale houses, we are studied with the progression in the addition of seismic bands. House number one is considered as a reference with no earthquake resistance system added. House number two is a traditional stone masonry house reinforced by two seismic bands on the ground floor on on the top of the walls. House number three is a traditional stone masonry house reinforced by three seismic bands, ground floor, lintel and roof. The last house is considered as a completely reinforced with four seismic bands and timbered. For the tests, the four houses were successively fixed on the vibrating table. One test consists to increase the vibration progressively until the collapse. The vibration indicator shows by the red circles the vibration intensity in real time. Only one vibration direction is used. We considered two perpendicular walls and two parallel walls to the checking direction. Traditional houses made of stones or brick masonry binded with a low strength mud mortar are particularly vulnerable to the earthquake effects. Their seismic performances depend on how well the walls are connected together and anchored to the floor on the roof. The table spread vibration from the ground to the roof and check each wall on its own. When the anchorage with the roof is inadequate or inexistent, as here, the top of perpendicular walls is moving more and more as vibration increase. Cracks appear and develop from walls intersection. The top of perpendicular walls move away, topples, then collapse. This phenomenon is the one major cause of destruction in stones or bricks masonry houses. People's safety is not guaranteed, even in case of a low-intensity earthquake. Evacuation must be fast. To enhance the efficiency of the traditional houses, seismic bands must be added as a belt for trousers. Major objective is to hold the walls together to form a rigid box and strengthen breakable points. In this second example, two seismic bands were added at the top and at the bottom of the walls. When house number one is totally collapsed, house number two is not damaged. Effects is significant but not sufficient. Seismic bands are too far apart to be completely effective. In the same way as the house one, cracks appear to the wall intersection, perpendicular walls topple, then collapse. To improve the earthquake resistant efficiency, the lintel seismic band is added. It reduces the breakable points caused by the joineries. House number three resists more than the two previous houses. Perpendicular walls are better held. Now the major breakable point is openings on the parallel walls. Failures appear and develop between the door and windows until parallel walls collapse. The collapse leads the rest to the total destruction. Even if the efficiency is really improved, the reinforcement of the house 2 and 3 is not complete. To prevent the appearance and development of failures between openings, we added a window sill seismic band and timbered. This last case is significant because house 4, fully reinforced, do not collapse. The test is stopped because vibration table does not go further. In conclusion, the traditional stones or brick masonry house is improved by seismic bands and timbered. This efficiency depends on the quality of systems added and their implementation. People's safety is not completely guaranteed, but this efficiency gives them enough time to evacuate during an earthquake.